Hi folks, so in these videos I'm going to tell you about injection attacks and this includes SQL injection attacks but there are a broad range of different kinds of attacks that are um, some kind of injection attack so it's a really important type of vulnerability and um, it's also quite important in terms of web security so there's quite a few of the important web vulnerabilities are injection attacks or actually maybe most of them are so SQL injection is a type of injection attack and so is cross-site scripting vulnerabilities uh, so is like cross-site request forgery uh, so you know that there are loads and loads of different kinds of injection attacks but um, I'll, I'll tell you what they are so injection attacks is what happens when you end up um, getting an attacker able to send some code that gets interpreted as code that gets run somewhere basically when there wasn't the intention of the programmer so when you're coding something and you're getting some input from the user if you then use that input to craft something that gets sent to an interpreter of some kind so that could include like a SQL interpreter like something that gets run as a database query it could be some um, code that gets sent along to if you're like programming in Windows you might send some code along to some uh, as part of a PowerShell command or in Linux like a bash command um, and basically you're creating this dynamic query or command uh, and if you as part of that command you're including something that the attackers potential attacker like a user is supplying then things can go wrong so yeah examples include like OS level command injection like PowerShell or Bash SQL injection no SQL um, so I've, I pronounce it SQL but you might also hear SQL um, you know just different ways of pronouncing it um, LDAP is a um, essentially it's a database it's just a, a database that happens on a um, like protocol over the network and it's often used in um, organizations to do um, some authentication so you can store passwords for example and authenticate by LDAP um, that's quite common on Linux systems LDAP's also part of Active Directory but you can use it as like a lookup service to look up uh, like employee names and address address book type thing in an organization essentially you've got these database queries as uh, LDAP queries and they can be subject to injection attacks you got XML or XPath injection so in XML there are um, you know you can inject into SQL uh, into XML for example if it's being generated using user input but also um, uh, XPath is like a lookup query to find something in some XML and you can inject into that sometimes depending on um, like common programming mistakes and essentially everything every other kind of um, like query that you could send to a database or to some kind of interpreter if you are using user input as part of the query it could go wrong if you're not really careful so this um, is part of the broad category of vulnerabilities known as structured output generation vulnerabilities which is a type of software vulnerability where you have um, a program that dynamically, dynamically generates some structured output that is then getting processed further somewhere else and there's a programming mistake in the way that you generate that output in this case it's like generating the command or the um, like database query before it gets sent to the database so injection attacks are really prevalent um, you know I said before cross-site scripting is a kind of injection attack so is SQL injection you know there's really really high impact common security vulnerabilities but injection attacks like those two can result in severe security consequences so mass disclosure of data um, like exposing your entire database of a website for example um, to you know an attacker uh, loss of data so you know attackers being able to delete things out of your database modification um, obviously you know integrity can be a problem if they can go and alter records 
Uh, so yeah, it can lead to complete compromise of databases or, or even of entire systems if we're talking about uh, command injection. So all these things can have massive business impact. So you know it's important that you uh, mitigate them correctly. So the example we covered in the last topic, cross-site scripting. Um, we said cross-site scripting is the most common security vulnerability in the world at the moment, or one of. Um, now, that is an example of an injection attack, and so are a lot of other attacks. And so you could say the broad category of an injection attack is certainly the most common category of vulnerability that, um, that exists. So with a cross-site scripting, if you recall, what happens is the attacker crafts some JavaScript um, that you end up being able to inject into a website that the victim views. Um, and then that JavaScript gets interpreted as JavaScript by their web browser. So you send something to them via, either like via a URL, if it's a reflected cross-site scripting, where there's a malicious um, parameter in that URL that gets basically reflected off the server at the user, or a stored cross-site scripting where you um, manage to get something stored in the database that when the user visits it, you get that um, code injection into the web browser. So um, I'm going to stop the recording there and record some um, separate videos covering um, OS injection um, and covering SQL injection and some prevention uh, methods. So stay, stay tuned. <laughs>